Welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about all the products that I've been using and loving for the month of January. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I have a good mix of beauty products and fashion items. A few beauty products that I haven't had an opportunity to talk about yet, so I'm excited to share some new products with you guys. Let's start with this product from Neutrogena. It's the oil-free eye makeup remover. So I got lash extensions put back on, I think it's been about a month, maybe six weeks. So I needed to find a good eye makeup remover that was oil-free. And I love this one. And it's obviously Neutrogena, so it's a great price point. Don't really know what, my, what else to say about it. I basically put it on a cotton swab and remove my, my eyeshadow. Uh, it also does a great job of removing um, like liquid liner or coal liner that I have close to my lashes. I'll use it on a lint-free little wand and I will actually clean my lashes with it. And it does a really great job of just getting the makeup off easy and effortlessly. The next product is by Charlotte Tilbury and I am loving this product so much. This is a uh, pretty new. I just picked this up maybe like five or six days ago, but I love it. I picked it up at my event at Nordstrom that I had this weekend and one of my sweet uh, viewers and subscribers, Rita, if you're watching this, and Michelle, they are sisters and they come to every event that I have here and I cannot tell you how um, how much it means to me. Like it's just so nice to always look up at these things and see their face. They're just amazing. But Rita was saying that she, was, she wanted to look at this because uh, Makeup by Tiffany D raves about this product and I purchased it and I love it. So it's basically a cream eyeshadow. I got the shade uh, Marie Antoinette. It's by Charlotte Tilbury. The product is called Eyes to Mesmerize. And it is the most beautiful, like, taupey brown shade. Can you see that there? It is so pretty. So I've been wearing this um, just as my eyeshadow. I haven't been putting or layering shadow on top of it. Uh, it blends out really easily from the lid up to pretty much almost close to the brow. It shears out so you can really, you know, blend it above the crease and it's not going to look too heavy or too dark. I don't have any makeup on today because I'm going to get um, my lashes filled after this and I can't have makeup on. So I do want to share this because it, it makes applying your makeup your eye makeup so quick and easy, but it still looks like you put a lot of effort and time into it. It is so beautiful. In fact, I want to do a makeup look um, that I did the night that I got it. I wore it out and it was so beautiful. So stay tuned for that. I really love it. It comes in other shade. It's a really great great formula and beautiful color. Okay, so next I wanna share this product from Josie Maron. This is the Intensive Hydrating Treatment. So I describe this pretty much as a mix between an oil and a lotion, you guys. This is what it looks like. It looks like a milky kind of oily lotion. I have been applying this. I've been keeping this upstairs and putting it on just before I put on my makeup. So I, I'm not using this in place of a moisturizer. I'm kind of using it as like an ad added way to rehydrate the skin and prime it for makeup. It's very lightweight. It has a very kind of almost an oil like finish but not an oily finish does that make sense it feels so good it feels like such a hydrating milk is that what it's describing it's oh it's pure argon milk <laughs> that's where i got the name i was like trying to think of the best way to describe it and it just feels like a milky oil it feels so good you can i've used this at night i've used it before makeup um, it's a really versatile product and it's like i said it's just a really great way to kind of rehydrate and give the skin a little bit of life before you put on makeup the next product is by Colleen Rothschild, and this is a new product to their line. It is the Glycolic Acid Peels with Blue Agave. I have been using these, kind of rotating this in my Biologique Resurge P50 lotion. I still use that and love that. I will never ever turn my back on that product. It is so, so good. But this was sent to me in PR and I wanted to test it out and try it and I really like it. So I kind of alternate nights doing one or the other. Um, and if my skin isn't too sensitive, I might do one in the morning and one at night. Uh, but they are these little, I hate to take one out and waste it, but they are basically these little thin pads that are soaked in glycolic acid and blue agave. So after you cleanse your skin, you have nothing on your skin before you apply your serums or moisturizers. You can just run this all over you know your skin to help exfoliate it's going to brighten the skin um, it, I take it down my neck and on my chest it's pretty large even though it's thin it does a, it has soaked with enough product to cover the face the neck and the chest um, smells really good. I don't know how this would be for sensitive skin. I'll be honest, when I first used it, my skin was a little pink. It didn't burn or ir it didn't feel irritated at all, but it definitely was pink. So if you have really sensitive skin, I'm sure you know how your skin reacts to um, acids. One acid that I find is more gentle is um, mandelic acid, and they have a serum that I've been, uh, that I was rotating in my routine. I feel like I kind of, I can't do all these things at once, right? It's just too much. But the mandelic acid was a more gentle daily exfoliator 
later and it comes in more of a thicker serum so that might be an option if you have more sensitive skin or when your skin is more dry it's just a bit of a gentle exfoliator but I do really really like these pads and I wanted to share them in my favorites video okay moving right along so this eyeliner I love this liner you guys and to be honest I haven't been using it a ton this month but I think I failed to mention this in my last favorites video and it is so good so I have to share it it's the Laura front of line pro eyeliner and the reason I'm not using it so much anymore is because I have lash extensions and it's kind of difficult to apply liner pens like this with lash extensions and it's kind of unnecessary because the lashes are so thick at the uh, base that you don't really need liner but you guys when I discovered this this is probably my favorite favorite liner pen okay let me show you the tip of it so the tip is long it's super flexible so it's very very easy to create a line it has a lot of give to it uh, the tip is really pointy so you can really create that fine um, line and it is so rich black it doesn't take any layering it's not sheared or we have to go and build it's pretty much like you, you get it on and you you have a nice opaque black line um, it also stays really well so um, that is a bonus because the Fenty liner I love how opaque and rich it was but it always transferred in my crease this one does not it stays so if you are on the hunt for a good liquid liner pen check it out I promise you will love it okay moving right along I'm gonna share my two new favorite BK Beauty brushes that I've been using a ton this month uh, the BK Beauty 107 brush this is our blush brush it's just like like the perfect size for blush which I'm actually gonna move right into the next product that I love because I've been using the two of them together it is this uh, blush palette by Jouer it is called the adore door blush duo and it's just a nice matte like a creamy formula um i shouldn't say creamy it's not a cream it's powder but it's just a very like rich in pigment kind of creamy finish powder and the shade is just this really nice kind of peachy apricot shade and then it's got a lighter shade to complement the lighter shade actually has more color than you would think for me I can wear the lighter shade by itself and still get some color so um, I really love this palette this is pretty much all most of what I've been wearing for blush in the month of January okay the next brush by BK Beauty that I've been using pretty much daily is the 108 and it is our nice like tiny little tapered uh, powder brush I use this every day to set underneath my eyes with powder set my concealer with powder it's just the perfect size i'll also use it after i've applied my eye makeup to kind of dust away the days that i do highlight which i don't really highlight too much totally honest i but i can use it as a highlighter um you can also contour the sides of your nose with it but for me daily this has been my powder brush to uh, set under my eyes it's just perfect Okay, the next palette, I love this palette, and I really hope this is not the first time I've mentioned this on my channel because I've had it forever. I've probably had this palette for over a year. Um, it's the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, and you guys, it is just such a beautiful beautiful matte palette the shades are so um they're just what can i say they're just complimentary you got a nice kind of mix of you got a cool tone shade here this row here but then you've got you know warmer shades down here a little bit of coolness in this brown here it's just really great basic everyday colors it's very easy to work with this palette i can accomplish a complete look with this palette i'll typically mix these two and put them underneath the brow i will put either this one or this one on the lid and then one of these in the crease and if I want a little extra drama, I'll add one of these in the outer corner. Uh, it's very beautiful though. I, I mean, the formula for a matte is really easy to blend. It's very soft, it's very soft matte. And the shades I think are just perfect. It's a great, great basic everyday, kind of no nonsense palette. Okay, so I wanna share this water bottle with you. I know it's just a water bottle, but I love it. I, I feel like I'm one of those people that goes to Target and buys like a water bottle every three or four trips because I'm like on the hunt for the perfect water bottle. And I I love this one it's very large I think that it's got 32 ounces so I'll usually if I fill this up twice and drink it throughout the day I know that I've got in my water intake it has a straws and that's it so it doesn't have a lot of pieces to it and I don't know I just love it I've been I, I clean it and use it every single day it helps me it just helps me drink in my water content and I wanted to share it I don't know okay moving right along to a couple of fashion pieces that I'm so excited to share the first one I'm really excited to share with you guys it's this Kelly Wynn bag you guys so if you're not familiar with Kelly Wynn she is actually a local Austin designer I think she launched her company starting with these clear bags you know now when you go to a stadium a concert a game you have to carry a clear bag so she came out with this line of 
really cute clear bags. I mean, are they not so cute? She also has like totes and backpacks, not not clear bags, you know, other kind of just, you know, normal um, bags. But I just got this one and I love it. I love the little chain on the strap. I love all the detail. It's got like this kind of like metallic gold bronzy uh, snake skin print. It is just so, so cute. And she does have these little um, pouches that you can buy that coordinate with the bag um, that you can put like your feminine products in or anything that you just don't want to be seen through the clear bag. She sells them, but I just think it's so cute. It's the perfect little size and I love how it's just, it's got some style to it. You know, it's not just your basic like bag that you get off Amazon when you have to go to one of those events. Love, love, love it. I will link her website below. She's got some really cute pieces and they're moderately priced. You know, they're good quality. They're not going to be um, really inexpensive, but they're not on the, you know, really high end designer brags. They're nice kind of quality moderate price point okay moving right along to the Dyson air wrap I know I've talked about this in a few videos but I've really been getting a lot of use out of it this month particularly with this attachment when I got this product I did a review and I remember telling you guys that I was kind of on the fence of if I loved it or not and so it's kind of funny that here we are a couple months later and I'm now raving about it and it's in my favorites video here's the deal when something is this expensive I want to be very careful with like screaming from the rooftops that I love it or that it's worth it or whatever because it's expensive and I get it you know it's a lot of money it's over $500 um, so I want to take into consideration the cost of it and if I really love it enough to say that it's that it's worth that you know I love this you guys uh, I use all the attachments I in fact I used the other attachment today to refresh my hair because I washed got it washed yesterday blow dried at the salon and then I worked out this morning and I just wanted to dry the sweat out and kind of restyle it and I use the other attachment but this particular attachment for me I love because I have a difficulty curling my hair with a curling iron I don't know why but I'll half the time it looks great half the time it looks like it was the first time I've ever attempted to curl my hair and for some reason this one just is always it just always makes my hair look good and it gives volume to the curl too every time I use this on my hair I get compliments or questions about if I got my hair done that day seriously every time I did my hair on Saturday for a Nordstrom event and I had people messaging me asking me oh did you get your hair done I'm like no I did it myself so I really really love this um, and it, it takes there's a little bit of a learning curve to it uh, I remember the first time I used it, it was a little frustrating but I picked on pretty quickly and now it's super easy and I love it and what I also love about it is that you can take dirty hair like when I styled my hair on Saturday my hair hadn't been washed in like three days and I had been working out every single day in fact I, that morning I woke up and thought I should probably wash my hair today but I just don't have time I use this and it freshened up my hair because it not only curls but it gives volume and just refreshes it it is it's amazing I love it and I do think that it's worth it I do I'm gonna just say it okay moving along I have a couple of tops here that I want to share with you guys I've been really um, buying like all these fun sweaters I bought this the other day I really have no attachment to Brooklyn you know the city the town but Obviously, I have a daughter named Brooklyn, and she loves seeing her name on things, and so I bought her a little matching one and bought myself this one. But I want to share uh, a couple of sweaters I got from Express. First is this one right here. It's just a nice, pretty ivory. It's got this fun little V in the front. Um, it's a little bit longer, so it doesn't completely cover the bottom. I got a size small, which actually, actually I got a small petite, which actually is a little loose. It was kind of a little baggy here, but I decided I liked that uh, style and that way that it fit more than going a size down. Um, um, but I really love it. It's just a great easy to wear kind of sweater that's never going to go out of style that you can pull every, you know, every year and wear and enjoy. I got that. And then the same day that I got that, I picked up this one just because I love the color of it. It's like this thick cable neck sweater. And I just love this dusty pink. I decided that, you know, I, I'm trying not to go on tangent here, but this year I'm all about finding pieces that um, are kind of timeless. My style is not super trendy. I'm not a, I'm not someone that is always wearing the latest trend. I like pieces that are classic. You know, I'm gonna wear year after year and I'm gonna try and stick with more neutral colors. Um, sometimes I'll go shopping and I'll just like something without really making the thought in my head of like, oh, how is this gonna fit into my wardrobe? What will I wear this with that I already have? So the problem that I make a lot of times is I buy things and I'm like, oh, I love that pattern or oh, I love that color and then I never wear it. It stays in my closet always. So from now on, my when I'm shopping, my plan is to look for things that are gray, black, white, cream, 
light dusty rose, just kind of neutral, uh, soft colors that I can wear so easily. Um, and I love this one. It also came in ivory and I think of a couple of other colors, but I decided to get the dusty kind of pink mauvey shade. And I got a size small petite in this and the same thing. This was kind of baggy. I definitely could have sized down, but I ultimately decided to go with the looser fit. So love those two. Um, and then I also found this top from Express. So I, uh, I haven't shopped at Express in years. I mean, maybe I've gotten a few things here and there, but I used to shop at Express in high school. And I think that's why I have been hesitant to like go and shop there again. I know a lot of um, my friends that are fashion bloggers shop there a lot and they always have the cutest things. But in my head, I always had this association with that's what I wore in high school. I'm too old to wear that now. But no, no, they have some cute things. And I got this top right here. It's just this black blouse with a V-neck. Um, and it's got this fun little mesh detail here trim. And then the sleeves, I don't know if you can tell, but the sleeves are completely see-through and mesh. The top is not, there's coverage there. Uh, and then I love this little cuff here. You kind of have this little, you know, detail puff right here on the cuff. It's just really, really pretty tucked in with jeans. It's kind of a nice way to dress up jeans. Um, so I, I really love all three of these tops. So I'm going to start shopping at Express more often. Then I picked up these shoes at Steve Madden and I love them. I love the color. It's just a really soft kind of muted nude, super easy to wear. You slide them right on. The gal at Steve Madden told me that they run really small. So she even, I'm normally a seven, but she suggested I try a seven and a half or even an eight. A seven fit me perfectly. So I don't know. She was kind of surprised that I wore my true size in these, but I found um, that they actually fit great. I just love this shade. They're kind of like this like faux, like suede material. So nice, so easy to wear. I know I'm gonna wear these a ton. I could wear them with any of the sweaters that I just bought. All right, you guys, and the last uh, item that I wanna share with you, I'm so excited about. I've also found these at Steve Madden, these little sneakers here. Aren't they so cute? Yes, they look dirty. They are intended to look dirty. If you are familiar with the brand Golden Goose, they're pretty much a dupe of Golden Goose, I guess. So Golden Goose is a very high-end designer sneaker. I'm talking like $500, $600 sneakers. And they are known for having this like kind of like dirty worn look to them when you buy them. Isn't that crazy? I know it sounds so crazy. And it's so funny when I saw my first pair of Golden Goose online, I remember thinking that is so ridiculous. Like those are, ugly. I didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. And then, you know, as time goes on and you see more people wearing them and styling them, you're like, those are actually pretty cute, but I'm, I can't, spend that much money on a pair of sneakers. So there was a pair of sneakers that were by a brand called P448 that um, weren't didn't have quite the dirty look to them, but they had a similar style. Um, and they were about half the price. They were still very high end, $200, $225. But I really love them. And I wear sneakers so much that I had finally decided, okay, I'm gonna buy myself a pair of those because I know that I'll wear them a ton. And that's kind of, you know, I can stomach that. But I could not find them. They were not available on Nordstrom. They were all sold out. Every site that I went to to find the style I wanted sold out everywhere. And I think it's because it was just an alternative to, to Golden Goose. But then I saw these at Steve Madden and I don't know how much these were, but they were under $100. They're maybe under, I don't know, 80 or $90. I'll link them down below for you guys. And honestly, I think they're just as cute. I really, really do. I just wanted a basic white sneaker with a little bit of interest. So the toe here, you can see that it's like suede and it's slightly darker than this white shade here. And then it has this fun metallic silver heel. But I think they are so cute and I'm so happy with them. And I'm so happy that I saved myself the cost of those P4448s. So I wanted to share these with you guys. They come in a couple of other styles. They had like a leopard print. They had a lot of other cute, fun styles. And I went with a size seven, which is, no, I didn't. I think I went down. I went down a size, you guys. So down half a size than my normal size in these. All right, you guys, that wraps up my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to hear what you guys are loving this month down in the uh, comments section. Let's hang out. Uh, and I will leave all the products listed with details and all of that in the description box below. I do want to mention our BK Beauty brushes. The two that I mentioned are part of our new Precision collection. The official launch date on that is February 16th, um, but we are taking pre-orders now where you can uh, secure all five brushes from that collection and you get, as our gift to you, complimentary beauty sponge, which is a new item which we'll be launching on the 16th as well. On the 16th, you can purchase the brushes individually, you can purchase the sponge individually, but right now we are doing that special pre-order uh, bundle set. So I'll have all the info in the description box for you below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending 22 minutes or less with me. I appreciate your time so much. Have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.